Hi guys, um, I must say I miss you all. <laughs> I miss just being together physically, giving you hugs and uh, and just um, just seeing you you all in 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 physical form. Uh, but at least we have this, and uh, so I can at least speak to you in this way. And thanks for your. Um, connection with me as well. And just a quick question for, for this coming Sunday. Here's the question. Is the Christian hope, the Christian comfort, is it a pie in the sky when you die? That's what many people say. Um, does being heavenly minded make people of no earthly good? <laughs> That's the accusation. Well, not according to Peter. It should not. In, in, in chapter 1 verse 13 to 2 verse 3 that, we, uh, that we're thinking through this coming Sunday, Peter calls us to take uh, uh, take our stance in this world, to take up our calling in this world, even though we are indeed exiles and strangers and sojourners, even though this world is not our home. And so these verses are full of commands, you will see, but, but not without rooting these commands in our identity. And here's the core identity that Peter, Peter comes and reminds us of in this passage. He says, remember that you are covenant children, the creator God, the God to whom Everything and everyone belongs is our Father by His choice, by His grace. He is, he is our Almighty Father in heaven. And in and, in and through, through Jesus, nothing, no persecution, no suffering can ever change this. What a glorious idea. But Peter is saying Christians will live lives of, of significance, will make a difference even and especially in difficult times. Because God, by His grace, made us... Um, and he's growing us into his thoughtful, holy, God-fearing, loving community of ever-maturing children. We are his children. And um, uh, uh, go read and, and see if, um, if you see this with me. Um, we are his thoughtful, mindful, thinking children. We must get the loins of our minds, 1 verse 13. We are His holy children who must live holy, obedient lives, 1 verse 14 to 16. Uh, we, have been uh, we have been ransomed to be His fearful children, 1 verse 17 to 21. We are a new family of believers, loving a loving community who, who should love one another sacrificially, 1 22 to 2 verse 1. And then finally, we are not, we are not static. We, we, no, we as Christians are ever growing, ever changing, ever maturing children of God. Chapter 2, verse 2 to 3. So we're going to think this through some more on Sunday. But please prepare. Please go and read it. Please go and think it so that you, you come prepared. And pray for me as I prepare. Pray for yourself. Pray for everyone that comes to worship. And please invite people. Share the link. Tell your friends, listen, we're studying Peter, we're working through this. I want to share this great perspective, this great hope um, that, that really isn't just something out in the future, but it's something real and tangible here and now. So let's, uh, let's join, to, uh, join forces together. Let's see each other on Sunday. Blessings for your weekend.